It's your boy Shepard Speed back here with another video. So today we are going to open a few boosters, open a quad pack, and then play some league matches. So let's just see how that goes, guys. How you guys doing? Let me know in the comments below what's popping in duel. You guys got anything new? I still don't have anything really great. So I got 10 Carmenai. That's better than five. Um, I'm trying to get Tapu Coco, but I'm just not gonna waste. I'm just not gonna waste any money on this because it's just I never get what I need. I spent ooh a rare. Another Lapras, okay. So I spent, you know, like a decent amount trying to get Gengar, and I didn't get him, and I blew 9,000 material on Gengar and Mega Gengar because I really liked them, and uh, it wasn't, you know, like, I, I just, the pulls just aren't there. I just don't get them, so I'm not going to be wasting anything. Let's go ahead, and I'm just going to open this quad pack just because I can, like, I just have enough gems. Why not, guys? You know, who knows? Maybe this one time, Duel will just say, you know what, Shop? We're going to give it to you. We're going to give it to you. Tapu Coco, let's go. I highly doubt it, but, you know, I, eventually something's got to go my way. Like, eventually, a booster pull has got to. There's, It's got to. So, two uncommons so far. Raichu and a Trap Pinch. Pretty trash, pretty trash. Um, so, I don't know when the next rare oh, EX... Vigavolt. I actually pulled an EX from a quad pack. No way. And a Galvantula. Okay. So a Vigavolt. Super, super cool. So we finally pulled a 7th gen Pokemon. I think, I think that that's our first pulled 7th gen Pokemon. So let's look at this guy real quick. So he's, first of all, I don't know if I, I already told you this, this in another video, but when I was playing Sun, I was like, dude, this little this little grubbin, he was so cool, I was all about him, and then I was trying to evolve him, and he doesn't evolve until the end of the game. Pisses me off, but anyway, still really cool. So, Vikavolt here, ability Spark Noise, when this Pokemon moves from the bench to the field, the Pokemon on the opponent's bench spin. That Pokemon, a Pokemon that's been purple gain weight, okay. So, Zap Cannon, 100, not bad, Air Slash, 70, what's the ability though? The Battle Opponent and... Ooh, okay, that's kind of cool. So the battle opponent, anyone in a straight line, get paralyzed. Um, eight on the dodge, and then a 24 volt switch. So he's definitely, definitely going to get tested for sure, 100 percent. Not today, but 100 percent. Maybe, maybe the next video. Um, so that's pretty cool. So this is the deck that I've been running. I haven't changed anything since last time. Honestly, I haven't really been playing that much, which is why I haven't been uploading that much. But I'm hoping that like the next event really gets me to get back into it, you know, it gets me back into the grind because I, it's just like, you know, the grind is just unreal. <laughs> the grind is unreal. And, you know, when you just get Deoxys players, then it's just not fun. So, here's a bot here, which is cool. So, we get an easy win. That tells you guys I legit I haven't played in like I have literally not played since the last time I uploaded, which is unfortunate because this game was really good. And I just feel like it's kind of going on the decline, but I want it to get back up there, guys. I want it to get back up there, so hopefully we can get it back up there. And uh, let me know what you're enjoying about it right now. Is the new meta what you're all about? You know, playing with the, uh... Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Playing, you know, with the, with the new electric decks and all that stuff. Don't attack me. Don't attack me. Okay. That could have been annoying. So... I think if I, somebody was like, oh, you could have won this match faster, okay, but it's a bot match, guys, it's a bot match, is it really a big deal? Not really, so, I'm pretty sure if I move right here, I'm, I'm guaranteed the win. I'll move right there. Actually, Greninja has weight, so it wouldn't even have mattered, but, because, uh, Greninja couldn't have moved, he could have attacked me, I guess. Ooh, an X attack going off on Umbreon, Okay. So you could have attacked me, but he didn't. Anyway, Mega Gengar on the goal. <laughs> Let's go. So Vikavolt is definitely an interesting pull. I'm trying to think of the electric Pokemon that I have that I could make a deck around him. Let me know, guys, in the comments below. Have you seen electric decks, and what are they running? I suppose you could run Jolteon as a runner. Ooh, let's open this, too. You could run Jolteon as a runner, and then... A Minum, Froakie. Okay. I hate that it does that. I'm always confused. I'm like, is there another thing? Don't tell me it just froze on me. Nope. Okay. 
So anyway, so like, what are they running right now? Are they running, you know, Jolteon? I saw the one person that I versed, it was the most aggravating deck. It was like two Jolteons. Um, oh man, I honestly, I can't remember, but it, there was like two Jolteons, definitely the Vicavolt and a Tapu Koko, and I think I went to time on that match. So right now, we're going up against PR third, okay? Zapdos, Tapu Koko, I think I saw Rush and Zek, so... Don't want to be going against that right now. A Combuskin and a Mew. So, what's your chains on your Mew? 33 and 51. Okay. At least he goes first, so we're in a pretty good spot there. Now, if he does decide just to go defensive, I'm just going to go defensive with Sableye, I think. Ooh, Tapu Koko. Okay, so Terrakion is most definitely a Tapu Koko killer. So, let's go ahead and do that. And... Depending on what he does right now, honestly, I might just go for the attack. Because Tapu Koko... Okay, let's just check your chains. 101? Okay. Let's put him here. Because Tapu Koko could go over me. And if he does... I might just double chance to get this knockout on the Tapu Koko. Because he can't hit Mamele's Wish. So it's a pretty good shot that I knock him out. Unless I hit double protect. Actually, I'm going to do it right now. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to double chance. I need to switch my plates on this deck, but my bad. So I'm going to double chance because the chances of him getting, what, a, an attack and me getting protect? Thank you very much. Get out of here. Get out of here. So Tapu Koko is done. Um... Pretty easy, that's why I put Terrakion back in, because he's like definitely the best Tapu Koko counter, at least for me. Now this could be, this could be bad, so who do I want? I'm actually going to Pokemon Switch, because I would much rather have... You know what? No, I'm not going to do that. 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 Let's just go ahead and put, uh, put Verizian in here. And then I might just swap spot Verizian and Terrakion. Um, he might go for an attack against me with Combuskin. But I do have a blue, and my white attacks do beat his. Okay, let's just go ahead and go for the swap spot, because I feel like I never use it, so I might as well just use it now. So switch those two. And... Oh, I didn't know I get to move as well. Well, then we can go here and end our turn. So, I swap spot's actually pretty good then. Hmm, maybe, <laughs> maybe I've been missing something this whole time. Um, so, Rush and Zek are on the field now. Or at least Rush is. So, why don't we go ahead and go... He's at 101. I'm actually going to go a little defensive with Gengar, just because I don't want the Zapdos coming out just yet. So, if he pulls Zekar right down there, then I might move Gengar. Oh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I've wasted a lot of time thinking, though. He does do that. So, are you, he is chained. So let me actually just move up Gengar there. Because my Gengar stands the best chance um, compared to uh, Sceptile. So, now then. Now then, let's see. So I could put Sableye in a defensive position. That could be easy. Oh. What? Oh, dude, that's rough, man. That is rough. So Cyclone Kick takes me out. He's going to get a Blaze again. Oh, man. That's unfortunate. But I'm just going to go move Sceptile down this way here. Because still my matchups aren't terrible. My matchup against Zapdos is good. Gengar beats Zekrom at least some of the time. I just got to worry about this Blaze again now. So hopefully Terrakion can survive. And, oh. Damn it, Dragon, if you would have just hit an attack, that would have been epic. Okay. So. Why don't we. Does he have a. Let's just double check and see if he has a hurdle jump. He does have a hurdle jump. So we're going to move. We're going to move Sableye right here. Because I'm kind of hoping, now this might be a waste of my Mega Gengar plate, but if he hurdle jumps into the middle, then I'm going to Mega Evolve and surround Blaziken. That gets him out of the game. So, that could be, oh, he just attacks? What? Oh, yes. Roll Protector Akion. Okay. 
now he might be in a position where he has to hurdle jump. Because if he doesn't, I don't think he would back up. So he might have to hurdle jump. Um, and he, oh, he just backs up. Okay. Okay. So you've got 140. If I hit an X attack, now nah, that's way too risky. That's way, way, way too risky. Let's just attack you because even if he gets fly, he doesn't win. So, oh yes, that is swift. That is a swift killer there. So we've got Zekrom out, which means that the fusion bolt is done. Um, let's see. What to do now? What to do now, guys? Blaziken is definitely the biggest threat on this board right now, at least in my opinion. No, don't don't come at me right now. Don't come at me. And oh, swift. That is a swift kill, guys. That is swift. Okay. What is the best option? Probably to do this. Probably. <laughs> but Sceptile, I can take over the entry point. He's going to definitely bring Tapu Koko on for sure. 100%. Okay, cool. So, why don't I move you up and... Man, I don't know what to do about this Blaziken. He could just destroy Sceptile so easily. Then again, I could tie him on the 140, but if he hits Cyclone, I could hit Stealth Hit. Okay, I'm just going to have to... I'm just going to have to put Sceptile there. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, so we don't have... We're going to have to go for this right now and hope that Terrakion can pull through. Pull through Terrakion, hit it... No! Terrakion! Every time you do this to me... So, unfortunately, he hit Protect, which means that he's going to be able to move on to my entry point. No, he, he wouldn't. I'd surround him. He moves there. Now, what are the chances of me surviving? Okay, they're not terrible. So, I'll move Sableye here. And I do have a goal... Wait, do I have a goal block? Okay, I do have a goal block. So, my next move is probably going to be to attack this Tapu Koko to get him out of the game. Because he is just the worst... Mamele's Wish, what does that do again? He can exclude Tapu Koko and then give one of his Pokemon 3 MP. There's no way he does this because he's got two Pokemon in the PC. Next turn, I take his entry point. There's no way it's worth it. And who would he even pick? Blaziken? Bro, what are you thinking about? Don't do it. If he does this, honestly, it could... What were you thinking? Dude, what were you actually thinking? Do I still have Pokemon Switch? I do. Okay. I'm going to switch Zapdos and Sceptile, and then I'm going to murder this Mew. It gives him Sore, but, like... <laughs> that is hilarious, guys. That is... That is so, so, so funny. Let's just Pokemon Switch these two. Because, obviously... Wait, choose two of your Pokemon on the field. Yeah, okay, switch those two. Okay, thank you very much. So, of all things, he gives him a Melee's Wish to Blaze again, and he freaking fluffs it, man. Oh my god. This man is probably upset right now, for sure. So, I can just attack Mew, hope for the knockout, and he's going to overdrive. Okay, he's going to overdrive and attack Gengar. Okay, I should probably Mega Evolve. Oh, dude, Contagious Terror, let's go. So, what does that do? Okay, it's going to make him noxious, or is it just wait? Okay, it's just wait, so why don't we go ahead and just go for this attack? Because if I get it, I win. Ah, oh, stealth hit. Do I take this around? Yeah, I do. Because I would way rather not have that Reshiram that's overdriven on there. So, at this point, he could attack Gengar. Try and get the knockout on Gengar. Because if he could attack Zapdos, I Mega Evolve and I win. So his only chance is to attack Gengar and get a knockout on Hypersonic on like Contagious Terror. If not, you boy's done. So PR3D, what you gonna do, mate? I cannot believe that he actually used top okay, he saw it, he saw it. Dude, Gengar, please hit protect or something. Oh, that dodge though! That dodge though! Yo! This Gengar is freaking insane. Let's just go ahead and take this win right quick. So, Tapu Koko failed. Tapu Koko straight failed this man. That's probably going to be the title of this video, because, guys, that was outrageous. Boom! Got the win. Got the W. That's what we do. Dude, that was actually pretty fun. That was a fun match. 
but a lot of things went my way, but that was still a fun match. And 32, 35, not bad. So that's going to be it for today's video, guys. Nothing too fancy. Just wanted to show you guys, you know, what I'm up to, what my deck is. Honestly, right now, this deck has gotten me quite a few wins. I don't, I'm not going to say like a bunch in a row. Here are my records, by the way. I don't think that that... It's got me... I'm on a six win streak, so that's not terrible, right? As you can, as you can see, wins this month, 24 out of 34. Not terrible. Not bad. Um, but that's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Help your boy out. And stay tuned for the next Pokemon Duel video. Shubby Speed, signing off.